what's up guys it's farmer jack and today we're going to talk about mexican sunflower I love this plant, not only because it makes these beautiful flowers, but uh, it makes a lot of biomass. What I mean by biomass is that it just makes a lot of plant matter, like leaves and like it grows so quick. Look at this bush. They grow up to be like 20 feet sometimes. There's a big one over there. They get massive and what I do is I chop them down and I put them around my fruit trees and it feeds the fruit trees. It's like growing your own mulch. So that's what we do. We grow these on site so we don't have to bring in bags of mulch from some big box store, right? We're trying to do it all on site. So we use mulch now, we get it dropped off locally by tree trimmers, but we wanna plant these in our system so one day we could tap into this source when it's a big forest of Mexican sunflower. So a lot of people grow these next to their little baby fruit trees because it's a quick little shade cover for those baby trees because those baby little trees don't like that exposure to like full sun so the, I've seen it in Costa Rica kind of grown next to the baby durian and baby jackfruit and soursop to keep them kind of protected then they'll chop them down like I just did it takes one second when kind of the plants are ready to you know take center stage it's not only just like grows quick and makes a lot of like biomass but actually that biomass is filled with tons of nitrogen which is what plants love you know plants need this to grow so they're actually doing a lot of research trying to like take this plant and then make it into fertilizer for grass and stuff and whatever they do use fertilizer for because it actually has the compounds that uh, is in fertilizer. So we just grow it on site and literally chop it down and put it next to the fruit trees. So it's local fertilizer, grow Mexican sunflower, check it out. 